Hey, it's Tom with Cedar Mountain Survival. Today I'm going to do a uh, unboxing and review of a uh, Windy Nation P30L LCD 30 amp uh, solar panel regulator charge controller. Um, it does 12 volts, 24 volts. Um, it's a charge controller I've used uh, pretty extensively, and uh, <clears throat> I like it. It has a uh, LCD uh, display which um, shows the voltage of the batteries and uh, displays some some other things like the amps that are coming into the batteries um, pretty useful charge controller and uh, unfortunately I fried no fault of its own the first one I had after having it for five or six years I believe uh, was not the charge controllers fault they hooked the uh, solar panels up without hooking up to the battery um, I hit a uh, circuit switch and shut the uh, the battery bank off and fried it so but I'm gonna do a uh, unboxing and review of it real quick I ordered another one off of eBay uh, around 50 bucks and uh, just because I liked I really do like the uh, charge controller so I wanted to get another one so as you can see it comes in a box a Winnie Nation I want to get this hook group back up to my battery bank. Um, comes packaged in some foam and bubble wrap. Gets packaged pretty well. Comes with a uh, battery temperature sensor, which is a pretty good idea to have for a lead acid battery in the winter time. So here's what it looks like. Looks like there's a film across the display here. We'll take that off. All right, so um, basically, you know, screws, four screws, just kind of a uh, plastic case. Um, it's not waterproof, so you want to make sure you have an undercover. But uh, you're going to hook your solar panel positive, negative up here. First, you want to do the battery bank, which is positive, negative there, and they have a load. It has a load uh, hookup as well, so you can run a light or a fan or anything else right off the DC side of things. You don't need the uh, inverter necessarily if you have DC appliances you can run it off of this as well um, it's got several different modes which I'll uh, demonstrate here once I get it hooked up to my solar panels so it's a P30L by Windy Nation great charge controller I really like it um, we will install it and I'll turn it on and show you how it works the different modes that it utilizes and um, this is a pulse uh, pulse width PWM, I believe. Uh, charge controller, it's not the MPPT. Um, but it works just fine for like a cheap lead acid battery or a, a solar system that utilizes, uh, you know, a battery bank that are like lead acid or whatever. You can, you can use this charge controller for it. So the first thing you do once you get your uh, charge controller mounted up is to um, hook up your battery bank first. So take the negative lead from my bar battery and loosen up the uh, connector for this. It just uh, basically clamps down or squeezes down onto your wire. This is a negative lead to my battery bank. Make sure it's up in there and tighten it down. This charge controller takes pretty large gauge wires. I think it takes up to uh, 10 or 12 gauge wire. So you hook up the uh, positive end of your battery bank and coming from your battery. Tighten that down. Alright, that's 
wires are in there good. You can see the uh, display now comes to life on your charge controller. And the nice thing about this P30L charge controller is that uh, it's going to display the uh, voltage of your battery bank. And uh, we're going to hook up the solar and it's going to show right here solar coming in from the uh, solar panels. So now that we got the uh, battery bank hooked up to my charge controller, I can now hook up the solar input. So I'm going to take the negative lead from my solar panels. This is 10 gauge wire from the panels. And I've got a uh, 12 volt system set up three panels in parallel to give me uh, 300 watts from the solar panel. Alright, so I have the uh, circuit breaker, the uh, solar fused off up here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn that on. You'll be able to see the uh, solar coming into my charge controller here. So what I'm going to do is uh, make this circuit here after I hooked up the solar panel. And you should be able to see solar coming into the coming in from the solar panels into my charge controller, and it will uh, charge up my battery. The thing I like about this charge controller it shows the uh, battery status voltage up there, 13.7. Um, it's pretty accurate because I have a uh, battery monitoring system down here, which corroborates that 13.8 volts. I really like this battery monitor too, but uh, it's a P30L charge controller, and uh, gets a good rating from me. I like it. All right, on the P30L, this is the um, the main screen. It shows the battery voltage main interface. This is the main interface and the current and the displayed number is present battery voltage displayed in volts so you've got 14 volts there you push the load button here it turns the load on and off you can see that little light bulb over there it turns that on and off you'd hook the load up there it's a DC load be it a fan or light or whatever you can hook the, something up there to turn it on and off um, the next interface, if you push the mode button here, it's going to be the battery temperature um, terminal interface. Uh, value displayed is a, in the interface is the temperature of the battery temperature sensor, BTS. And so that basically is this black wire here. It goes down. I've got it hooked up to my battery bank. Uh, just stuck it in between there. Basically, you want to have it on one of the batteries. It's just a what the the temperature of the battery is and the uh, you can push here it's going to be the photovoltaic solar panel output current interface so it's going to give you the current and amps uh, the value displayed in this interface is the load current is the input current to the controller from the solar panels the current being generated by the solar panels displaying the amps. I notice that does change though when um, it's only putting out 0.1 amps because my battery is almost fully it is fully charged so I do notice that if I turn on my inverter that goes up because oh, it's drawing off the battery my amps 
go up. So, I mean, I have three panels up there that, uh, you know, each panel can put out five, am five amps. So, it could be as much as 15 amps up there if the battery's low. So, that's the uh, current interface. The next one's going to be the load current interface. So, if I click on that again, that's going to give me the actually, let's see, temperature the load current interface and the value displayed in this interface is the output current from the controller to the load the current being consumed by the load displayed in amps you hit the uh, mode button again and this is going to be the, your photovoltaic solar panel generated charge interface. The value displayed in this interface is the cumulative generated charge of the solar panels displayed in an amps, amp hours for example. Yeah, so basically it's going to give you the uh, total number of amp hours that uh, has come from the solar panels to your charge controller. And it's displaying zero now because I just hooked it up to disconnect interface. So if the volts go below 10.7, that's the factory preset, it's going to... The value displayed in this interface is low voltage disconnect protection voltage set from the controller. If the battery voltage is lower than the set protection voltage, the controller will automatically disconnect the load to prevent the battery from over discharging. The low voltage disconnect is user settable. So if it drops, if I have something hooked up to the load and it drops below 10.7, the battery, uh, then it will shut off the, uh, the load so it won't drain the battery below 10.7. The mode button again. This is going to give you the low voltage reconnect interface. So um, in this scenario, on this the value displayed in this interface is a low voltage reconnect voltage set for the controller. After the controller enters into a low voltage protection state and the battery voltage recovers to the value set, the low voltage re reconnect, then the controller will reconnect the load automatically. So uh, you've got a load hooked up and your batteries are charged back up to capacity 12.6, then the load will turn back on. Again, that load is hooked up right here. Or that it's a light or whatever you want to hook up. Alright, so if you hit the uh, button again, this is going to be the um, over voltage disconnect interface 13.8. So the value displayed in this interface is the value in which the charge control will stop charging the battery. When the battery voltage reaches the voltage, the controller will disconnect the charging solar panels to prevent the battery from overcharging. After the battery voltage drops below the over voltage disconnect value, the controller will reconnect the charging solar panels. So, and then you hit the button again, and this is going to be the load mode timed control interface. So basically, you can set uh, a timer when you want your, your load to come on. So there are a bunch of uh, functions with the, the load. This charge controller is pretty versatile, uh, able to let you set that up. I don't have anything hooked up to the uh, load right now, but I may put a light or something out here that just comes on periodically. So that's basically uh, the interfaces. There are some error modes and stuff in the... Uh, It'll show you, but I'm not going to go over those, but th those are the basic um, interfaces that uh, it'll show you. Um, so I really like this. Uh, give this a pretty good uh, review. The P30L by Windy Nation. Charge controller. This is the first charge controller I uh, ever bought. Right here, it was uh, like 10 bucks off of uh, Amazon or eBay. Uh, it's just a cheap little charge controller. And uh, I actually used this after I fried my my Windy Nation uh, P30L. I I used this in the interim. Um, this thing has performed really well. It's, if 
if you just want something to top off your battery as a, a cheap charge controller with a cheap solar system to keep some tools or something charged, uh, these little things work good. They're you know made in China, whatever, for ten bucks. Um, but they do the job. They work fine. But uh, start with the studios. But I'm gonna uh, just do the review on my Windy Nation P30L. I'm just gonna mount it up here real quick. 